Hey folks, it's Jumping Quails, and welcome back to another edition of the Weekly Ramble. It's been a few weeks, folks. I apologize. The days I normally record these are Thursdays, and uh, last Thursday I was busy moving, so I didn't get a chance to record. And the Thursday before that, I was just taking a break because God was—I was getting—I was getting tired and needed that mental break. And uh, I'm finally back. It's—it's—it's it's, it's been a minute, and um, yeah, I'm sure as you can tell by the title of this one, we're going to be talking about university, aka college, the oh so popular thing that gets constantly shit on for being expensive. Well, I mean, it's true. Why, why, why wouldn't you shit on it? It's so expensive. Um, I'm in college, so I figure, you know, I, I, I'm going to be starting up my fifth year here soon. I have six, literally six more months of school and I'm done. I'll, I'll be graduated. And I'll be starting up, I think, next week. So um, I figured might as well just throw this out here. It just seems like a perfect time to do it. So uh, yeah, college. Oh my god. It's... Where do we even start with this? I, I guess we'll start with what everything is told. Like we're told as kids, right? You want to get, you want to get good grades so you can get into college, right? That kind of stuff. And it's like I feel like we definitely drop the ball with like our youth saying you don't have to go to college to be successful. Like not every college is going to have what you want. Like there are some trade schools that are just going to be much better for you. They're cheaper. They get you in. Like you're done in like two, three years rather than four years. You're not in that much freaking debt compared to college, at least to my knowledge. I could be wrong. Um, but it's like, it's kind of stupid. And I, I got to say, personally, my own college experience has been interesting so far. You're going to hear a lot of the times that colleges will be, um, will be, uh, you have a party college. This college, this college has a lot of, you know, a lot of parties and shit. This college is super prestigious, like Harvard or, you know, I'm in a, I'm in a UC school out in California. And, um, it's like, oh yeah, the UC schools are really good. At the same time, you like some are better than others. You know, some like require like a four point GPA to have a good chance of getting in, at least on academics. Um, it, it's it, it's it's what it is. And um, every see every college has like some colleges offer the basic stuff, like the basic um, degrees, like your social <laughs> your social studies degrees or different science degrees. I know some UC schools are really good when it comes or have really good plant degrees. Um, like Davis and Riverside have really good like their whole history or the Davis or the Berkeley. Oh, the Berkeley. Maybe I'm wrong. I know Riverside was originally an extension of one of the UC schools, uh, but they have really good like they have really good plant uh, plant programs. And I'm a plant. I'm starting to become a plant biologist, aka ecologist in my degree, and I'm hopefully going to have that by the end of winter, so February. Um, yeah, I, I have such little little left to do. It's kind of like crazy. I could have been finished within three months, but it's like I wanted to use an extra year of eligibility that I had for track and field because they gave it to us, and um, because of the pandemic shut us down. It's like, all right, screw it. If I can, you know, extend my school another three months and maybe get some extra cash in my pocket because for three, pretty much just running for free or running to get paid in the last quarter of the year, might as well. But College is going to make you learn a bunch of things you do not need to know. It, it, it just makes you, it just makes you learn a bunch of stuff you do not need to know, <laughs> not need to know, like at all. Um, because I, I'm an ecologist, right? It would have been nice um, to have just learned about plants. If college was like, if you, this is my major. I knew exactly what my major was going to be the moment I stepped into college. I figured out what I wanted to do back in freshman year of high school. And so it kind of sucks that I go into college and there's some things that I understand, like basic, like calculus, right? Okay, that's fine. Basic English writing skills or English classes, that's fine. But then it starts getting to stuff where it's like chemistry and physics. I fucking hate them all. <laughs> I, I hate them. They have... Literally nothing to do with the degree I'm getting. Uh, I don't, I'm not like a plant geneticist. I don't really need to know the plant chemical compounds and that kind of stuff. I need to know like ATP, the Calvin cycle and photosynthesis and all that good stuff. Um, C4, cam plants, that kind of stuff, right? And I just want to grow plants. That's all I want to do in the future. Um, like work in a nursery type shit. And um, it's just <laughs> learning through, sitting, trying to force myself through three chemistry classes, three physics classes, and a whole bunch of other classes uh, I personally just do not need. I will not remember a single thing from biochem. Destroy the crap out of me. Did not need to know any of that. Don't remember any of it. Chemistry, still don't remember any of it. Physics, don't remember any of it. Um, my Asian American studies classes, my other social studies classes, I don't remember any of it. They, they, they do this in an attempt to make you learn like to be a well-rounded individual. But the truth is, you're not going to remember any of this. You're not going to like look back and like think, huh. 
I man, I really love this class. I'm such a better person for it now. And sure, I've learned stuff, right? I've I it's but like a lot of the stuff is 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 common sense. And like it's it sucks that you have to go through that because it's really just like an extra I feel like if you spent the first year doing math and English, awesome. That's all you should need. Your next two realistically you probably don't need more than three years of college. I feel like realistically, two years even. But, it, you know, unfortunately, they make you cram all these other useless electives and stuff in there that you just don't hold on to for the rest of your life. And maybe, maybe you will. I, I can't speak for you. Maybe you are have a great memory and you like learning stuff. Um, but I feel like the general thought, and maybe I, I feel like I'm not alone, I think, because it's like, why the fuck am I learning this? <laughs> Where am I going to use this trigonomic, like this freaking, uh, yeah, this, uh, what do they call I don't remember, quadratic equation in my life. I need to know m- how to plus, minus, divide, multiply, maybe do a fraction or two, um, maybe do some percentages, that kind of stuff. And that's stuff I still use to this day, but I don't need to know anything else. <laughs> Um, I'm not going to say that there weren't classes that I haven't genuinely enjoyed. I love history classes. I do. And, and it's awesome. Um, my, I had a history class that was literally just about war. I fucking loved it. Got an A in the class. I had a history class. Like, I had another history class that I loved. I got, got an A in that. Last quarter, like my last quarter, um, which is like a three month, like three month quarter. We have three quarters a year. Um, I learned about like a freaking, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, was it Hispanic? Hispanic studies, but it was like a historical thing about Hispanic music. We got to listen to a bunch of music. It was a freaking awesome. I loved it. It was cool. Um, I love history, but like at the same time, someone else might not love history and you have to take some history classes because it's what it's required. Yeah. Psychology class, you have to take something to fulfill these freaking requirements that ultimately have nothing most likely well, depending on, I guess it depends on what, um, what degree you're going for. But a lot of the times, if you're a science major, you're taking these classes that have ultimately nothing to do with your major. Like if you want to be a chemist, you're going to have to take social science classes like freaking uh, ethnic studies and other stuff like that. Has nothing to do with your major. It feels like you're wasting time and spending money on something you will not carry with you for the rest of your life. And I feel like that's the biggest issue with college. I don't think it would get as bad rap as it was if some people didn't have to sit through those classes. And granted, it is expensive as hell. Like it's a fucking nightmare. Um, they, I like. I have a thirteen thousand. I have a thirteen. Not thirty. Is it thirteen thousand? Yeah, a thirteen thousand dollars scholarship every single year to to help pay for school for because of track and field, which is almost amazing because my tuition is like fifteen k a year. On top of that, I get grants usually every then, so I usually have a full ride every single year. Um, which you know, uh, figure in. I've been living on campus, so add in room and board. Granted, that's still fifteen k I'm paying a year, but after um four years of school, right? That's that's literally half of what I would be paying. So I'm paying 45k instead of 100k. You know, round, or like 90k rounded up to probably 100k after more fees and stuff like books and all that. It's much nicer to be paying half that amount than 100k. It's really just like it's a debt trap. <laughs> um, and God help me, because I'm still going to I'm still pay that off for a while. But I'm not in a bad position as other people might be. It's just it kind of sucks. I'm not trying to say don't go to college. Uh, there's definitely perks to, to going to college, but if you're going to go to college, just know and really, really look into your degree that you want to get. Um, if you want to get like a, a degree in like a social studies or social science, just know there's so much competition that you likely will have to go for a doctorate to even have a chance of getting a, a position to help you uh, to, to get a good living salary off of that. Um because I feel generally bad for people like, oh, I'm going to get a social degrees in anthropology, like a, a bachelor's degree in anthropology. Like, cool. It's not going to do much for you, unfortunately. Um, but then again, just the act of having a degree does tend to help you a good amount when it, when it comes to uh, searching through jobs. It's like if, if a job sees you have a college degree, like, okay, he went through college. You know, he, he must have at least some intellect in that mind, that noggin of theirs. Or, um, you know, they, they might, they, they, they could be a, p- a potentially good asset because obviously they went through college. Not every single job is going to look for a degree, but most jobs will, I want to say. I'm not super well versed in the job market, but I like the view as having the degree is better than not. Obviously, again, if you have an art degree, social science degree, the, the, the ethnic studies degree, an English degree, you're probably not going to get much with that. It's probably not going to help you that much compared to if you have like a science degree or an engineering degree. Like if you want to make money, become an engineer, <laughs> just straight up mechanical engineer, chemical, just become a, just come up like an engineer that is like engineers are becoming more and more like desired as the year go by, as the years go by. Cause it's just, it's a well-paying, or is it engineers or is it mechanic? No, I think it's engineers. 
Yeah, any kind of like engineers, like you just get paid well because you it's a hard job. It doesn't have that much. There's competition, but there's not that much, and you just get paid super well for it. Like I, for my degree again, I just want to work in a nursery. Whether it's a, I, I don't want to work in a lab. I want to work in a nursery. You know, if I'm just selling plants to people, like that kind of nursery, that's fine. I, I just want to work around plants. I want to like help tend and take care of plants. Not like a farmer or a gardener, but like just making sure like I want to be able to give plants, like help plants grow and give them to other people or at least take care of them that way. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, is it going to make me rich? Probably not, but it's something I'll be happy doing. And that's really, I think the more important thing is definitely make sure if there's one thing I'm going to leave this little weekly ramble on, make sure you are doing something that you love, want to do in the future. You're not just doing something because it's going to pay well. If you are just doing that, you're going to be miserable. You might have all the money in the world, but if you're just not happy with it, you're going to suffer through four years of college and ultimately have a job in the future that you just hate doing no matter the amount of pay that you're getting. Um, I can't speak for you. Maybe you do like just don't care about how happy you are. Money is all you need. But I just my personal recommendation, find something you're going to be happy with that you can just chill and vibe with for the rest of your life no matter the amount of money you can make. Because that's honestly more important, your happiness and your ability to do your job and just stay relaxed and not stressed out is so much more important than the money. Because if you're stressed out and you have all the money in the world, you're still going to be fucking miserable. Uh, but yeah, that's all I'm going to leave it on, folks. I want I'd love to know what your thoughts about college. If you if you're in college, if you have to go to college, if you're planning to go to college, you know what what do you want to do? What are your concerns? Let, let's just talk about it. Just 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 share share your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I have nothing else for this video. If you liked what you heard, you want to hear more in the future, you know what to do. This is Jimmy Quills, and I'll see you, folks, in the next one. <laughs>